Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Active Directory video for Northeast State Community College. While we were installing our Active Directory and doing the configuration, it asked us for the domain functional levels and forest functional levels. So quickly, I want to talk about what the functional levels are. Basically, the functional level identifies the capabilities of the domain and the forest. So you have a functional level for the entire forest, a functional level for each domain. Every domain controller within a domain must be at the same functional level. Domain controllers within the forest must be at least at the forest level equivalent. So, we had force level at Windows 2000, 3, 8, 8, R2, and so on. And each time, additional capabilities were added. And we will see when the final release of Server 2016 comes out, a functional level for 2016. At the domain level, we had functional levels as well. We had a Windows 2000 mixed mode and native mode in the original 2000, Mixed mode provided backward compatibility with Windows NT 4.0. Once we moved past that, we went up 2003.8 and so on, and each time, again, additional capabilities were added. So what we have is we would have a forest level, and that forest level actually will define the minimum level at the domain. So we can, if we have a forest level of server 2008 R2, then we cannot have any domains that are below the server 2008 R2. You can raise the domain level within a domain and then raise your forest level later. So as you install newer servers and take out your old Windows servers, you can add and increase those domain levels. Right now with current versions, we really don't want to have a force level below 2008. If, you're, if a company still is running Windows 2000 or 2003, they really need to get all of those domain controllers removed. They can still have servers that are member servers of the dom domain, but they cannot be domain controllers and move up to a newer level. Now, if you want to find out more about the different capabilities at the different levels, then at the Microsoft TechNet website, you can go to this web page and it will give you all the details. So if we were to go to that web page now, we can scroll through it and we can see what the capabilities were and what operating systems are supported at those levels. And if you look, the Windows 2000 native mix mode isn't even listed. Native, you can go up through Server 2008 Release 2, but not 2012. We can go up through 2012 R2 at the 2003 level. And if you were to go through and take, take some time and look at this page, you'll see it, the different features that were added as they move these servers up and the domain controllers up to those levels. It is highly recommended, and I recommend that you always use the highest level you can and try to upgrade those domain controllers as soon as possible. So if you have any 2008 domain controllers, try to get them up to, say, 2012 at least, or 2012 R2. If you've got any 2008 R2, again, try to get them up, and when 2016 comes in, uh, start looking at upgrading to those because it does provide additional capabilities that you'll want to take advantage of. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video for Northeast State Community College. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos.